Hey there YouTubers, Jay Scrapper here, and today I want to talk to you about containers. We have so many goods that we store up daily. Now, that's goods from foods to pro hair products, cleaning chemicals, and other sorts of stuff. And I want to tell you that if you go and buy a canister set like most people do, or this Tupperware, or the products storage products that you can get out of the store you're wasting your money now when you go shopping grocery shopping there are quite a few items you can get even when you shop for medicine and other items and today I'm going to show you a few of those items and explain what I use them for to give you an idea and this will help you save money so let's get started when it comes to food and you want to store something don't go out and buy one of them nice plastic sets that's got the lids already simply use something like a butter bowl or a sherbet ice cream bucket I don't use that for the food but I use this for food when I have spaghetti uh, hamburger helper whatever I have that can fit in here I use this now this here other than storing food has another use and this is for all you who love to cook fish I put about Mm, about that much fish batter in there and then I take it from there and I go about about to there with fish and then I put the lid on this is good for shaking up and you know getting your fish all battered up and ready to fry and the lid is good because it helps you reduce messes you don't have such a big mess to clean up and anybody who cooks fish knows a bag is really messy Next container, the lovely, lovely Kool-Aid container. After you're done using Kool-Aid container, and this is a hack for those who love Kool-Aid. They have children, whether it's your own child, your guardian of child, or your grandparents who have your children to come over there every once in a while. But after you're done with this, this is good for storing other things. Here's what I use for it. I use one of these for butterscotch. I use another one of these for cinnamon disc. Candies. I also use this for when I'm here at the house taking something apart because I'm a scrapper. I use this for screw uh, something like this for screws. Why do I hang on to screws? Because you never know when you might need a good screw. Huh? That's what she said. But anyways, this here is good for many other things. Whatever your hobby is, if you got stuff that is small that can fit inside something like this, just use something like this. You know, for example, I'm a scrapper. I put screws in this. Or, and I'm also a writer, so I'll use something like this for my staples, another one for my paper clips, so on and so forth. Oh, and I know some of you sewers out there. Buttons, needles, threads, whatever. There's your an idea. Whatever your hobby is, if you got small items that needs to be stored, Kool-Aid container. Also, I use Kool-Aid containers for sealing. No, not the sealing, but here's what I'm going to talk about. But before I show you this, I want to explain something. Is that Russian Hacker, here on YouTube, has great videos about different ways to improve your life and make life easier. One of his videos, he talks about using a bottle, cutting the top off, and putting it down on a bag that is not a Ziploc. Folding the plastic over the bottle, over the bottle top, and then putting the lid on. Well, I've used this so many times, and you can go to his channel in the description down below. But anyways, I have a big noodle bag here, and the first time I grabbed a big noodle bag like this, I tried using that very hack, but it wouldn't work because there was too much plastic that was in the way for the lid to fit on. So what did I do? Well, I didn't grab a Kool-Aid top like you see right here. I grabbed a peanut top. But Kool-Aid top, as you can see, still does the same thing. And every time you go to get noodles out of the, your bag, you will have fresh noodles. Not nothing stale. Fresh. And anyways, if you don't drink Kool-Aid and you're allergic to peanuts, 
then just look around see if you find anything with that big of a top that you do like and after you're done eating it you can use the top or you know as somebody for a old peanut container or old Kool-Aid container whichever you choose next container the jelly container now you're looking at this and be like and you're like well that's a good for drinking glass which that's what this one is for actually I took this one out of dishwasher for your viewing pleasure and to teach you this but this also can be used for other stuff if you keep the top you can store up jellies if you make your own jelly or like me my kid I, I buy a big bag of M&Ms and you know M&Ms in a bag just doesn't work out so when there are some left over I'll put them in something like this and put the top back on also, a jelly jar that has no handle on it can be used for other stuff, you know, like this plastic container here. You know, it could be used for stuff like I mentioned, for like hobbies, or you can use it for band-aids like I do with one. And I will make a video about them, about storing band-aids and how you can save money on those. On to the next one on my list. Pills. Pill bottles. This is a aspirin bottle right here I've got. But this right here, when it's done, I will hang I'll clean out and hang on to it. The reason why is because recently I had a flat screen TV that I put out of the dump. It worked perfectly, but the screen was broke. And since I could not find a screen on eBay or Amazon that would fit it or any, you know, TV for parts just like it, I took the motherboard out. And when I was thinking, I got thinking, hmm, what if somebody needs those screws? So I grabbed a pill bottle, similar to what you're seeing, and I filled it up with the screws. Because you never know, somebody may have took the motherboard off already, trying to fix it, and they lost a screw or two, and they need some extra screws. So that's something you could throw in your stuff free and make you a little bit more money on. <coughs> Please excuse me. Last one I'm going to show you is my daughter's detangler bottle. And the reason for this, okay, this is for, you know, detangling her hair. Making sure she doesn't get all those tangles. But when this is over with, when I'm done using this up, I will fill it with my own special cleaning chemical. And with, with that right there, as you can see, I can use that for, like, my dashboard and my van. So, you know, if you got a little girl and she's got the tangler, you can always make your own little cleaning chemical, put in something like this here, and you ain't got to go buy something that's already made up in a bottle like this, because that's just a waste of money. So, you know, use your imagination. And while I'm on spray bottles, I do not have one with me, but a Windex spray bottle is the best thing to hang on to after you've done use the Windex up. Do not go buy a spray bottle out of the store. That is a waste of money. Even though, yes, it's a dollar at some places, it's still a waste of your dollar. You know, because you already got an old Windex bottle that has no Windex in it. Now just clean the old Windex out of that and use it. You know, you fill it with water and wipe stuff off. Like, I use mine to keep my kid's table wiped off. So, you know... Just use your imagination on this. There are other containers out there. I'm aware of that. But these here, I just showed you these here and told you what I did with them. Just to give you an idea and hopefully to get your mind working on what you could do to save money. Okay? So, anyways, I really hope these tips helped. Um, get out there and just figure out what you can use different containers for. Even if it's a little bitty container, it can still be used. Like a little bitty container, for a good example, I got my little girl a sucker that came in this little Christmas can. And she didn't want the can no more. She threw it in the trash. Well, I pulled it out of the trash because I bought a thing of Rolaids. Well, not Rolaids, uh, antacid pills that the lid was broke. So I poured it in there. So, anyways, I hope these tips helped you. Um. Uh, and I hope that you're saving money. I hope that you're making money. 
Uh, this is Jay Scrapper out. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Later.